Hey guys, Pencil Face here, and um, today I'm going to be starting a series on Survival Island map that I made. Um, well, the actual island was on a seed, I just modified it slightly. But um, I've made up some rules and it's just about to turn daylight. So um, I'll quickly go through the challenges and the rules. Uh, first of all, the rules. It has to be in hard difficulty, as you saw when I started up. You only have five lives to complete all of the uh, all of the challenges and I can go anywhere I want underground as long as I'm in a cave system or I'm below layer 15 just so I don't like bump into any other islands or whatnot and then the challenges I have to build a two story brick house using this here clay um, I have to find a mob spawner or a dungeon I have to make a cake I have to build a nether portal and there's two kind of sub challenges for that I have to kill a ghast and get glowstone and obviously survive is the main kind of challenge hence the name survival island and I have to find diamonds so yeah I'm going to survive basically but uh, I've got a little star chest here some food, a map one sugar cane seeing as it wasn't on the island to start with wheel to make a bed seeing as the chances of a sheep wandering into the island are quite low same with the egg and the milk um, so yeah, I just put a bunch of random stuff in the chest that would be hard to come across on a small island. So yeah, yeah, I'll just move this all up here. In fact, I could plant this right now. I need to turn up my game a bit. Right there we go. But um, I'm not allowed to go off the island whatsoever. Right, so I need to get some more saplings from this tree, hopefully. But, um, a good little trick is to leave one block of wood at the top, and that raises your chances of getting a sapling. And there is two more blocks of wood. Right. So I should get a sapling here. Hopefully. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> if I don't get a sapling, I'll pretty much need to start again. Come on. Come on. <laughs> no way. Oh, there we go. Got a sapling. Oh, two in fact. Right, that's good. As long as I get two sampling from every tree, then that is quite good. Right, there we go. I need to take some more of this dirt to plant a tree somewhere else. But um, there's some coal on the surface over here just to start me off. And there originally, before I modified the island, there was iron, but I took that away because I thought would make it too easy. Uh, yeah, the coal's right here. Right, I need to make some wood to craft and bench. We'll just leave that up here somewhere. Um, a few sticks. Make a pickaxe. Just might as well get us coal quite quickly. Make some torches. Right, I'll need some stone. Oh, in fact, um, the seed for this map to get this island I'll put it on screen now. It's called um, <laughs> I Hate Notch with um, no spaces and no capitals. And then um, I'll show in your, my map. That's where the island is. If you want to go to it. And I just put a bunch of clay on it. Um, there's The tree's already there. I put a chest on it. Uh, covered most of it with sand. But that's all I've really done. Oh, damn it. Right, better start building stuff. Um, I could take this chest and put it inside my house. In fact, just to make sure I can't really cheat, I'll put um, 
the auto save feature on just so I can't exit without saving. Um, I'll plant this wheat just to get a small farm going. Oh, oh yeah, I need a hole. <laughs> Herp de derp derp. I'll just make a wooden one. There we go. Right, I can start digging a house. I'm pretty sure there's dirt. Yeah, dirt over here. I'll start digging this out. Yeah, this could just be a star house under here. Oh, iron. Well, that's quite good, I suppose. Right, it doesn't need to be too big for the moment. Right, I'll try and save my wood until those trees grow. Need some lights. Right, 16 should do quite well. In fact, I'll quickly make a bed because I only have five lives if I have a bed. Because if I don't have a bed, then also I won't spawn by it. They'll spawn a way off in the middle, middle of the map somewhere. So, um, just bear make a bed quite quickly and sleep in it as soon as it turns night time. Um, put my furnace in here. And obviously my crafting bench. I'm not sure how long it takes for a sapling to grow. I know birch trees take like four times as long, but I think these only take about one or two days. I'm not really sure. But they should go quite quickly. Right, there we go. Put down some lighting. Um, I've not got enough to make a door. In fact, I'll get that iron. Right, iron straight away is quite good going. And there's eight pieces, I think. Yeah, eight pieces. Right, I need to save my dart a bit because there's not a great deal on the surface. Considering I need to farm a lot to maintain quite a lot of food. And I'll always keep my valuable stuff in a chest. Just so I don't lose it when I die. Which I'll do right now. Oh damn it. There we go. Um need to keep the milk, the eggs. I'll leave the map just now. Um yeah, that should do. I need to smelt this iron. Right, one piece of coal smelts eight pieces, I think. I'm pretty sure. <coughs> right, I need to get some of this dirt. Because this dirt on the surface will be quite valuable. Oh, there's actually quite a lot of dirt. Yeah, I'll just get all this. In fact, I think I might change the challenges in the nether to make them a bit harder. Just so I need to stay in the nether for a bit longer. I've lost half a heart already, and it's almost night time. The trees haven't grown, and... That there is the entrance to a cave system, which looks relatively big. 
And um, I'll leave the clay right now. I'll get it some other time. Um, need a light in here. Right, I'll cover this up, seeing as I've not got a door, and start mining. Right, if I mine in this direction, I should bump into the cave system. And cave systems are always good for finding coal and iron. It shouldn't take too long to hit this cave system because I'm going in the right direction. Right, I'm going to try and save my torches just in case I don't find coal for quite a while. Probably should make a sword. Right, I think I can hear a skeleton to find iron. Yeah, I can eat. Oh! I didn't even see that. <laughs> oh god, god! Oh, oh crap. Right, I think because the angle that's on the stairs, it can't really explode. I got no gunpowder. Damn it. Could come in useful, I suppose. Oh god, I think that's a dungeon right there. Oh god! Oh god! Right, I'm just going to sprint up these stairs as quick as I possibly can. <laughs> oh my god! Holy crap! I'm pretty sure that was a dungeon right there. I'm going to try and hack away at this skeleton. Oh crap! Right, there's bones there, so I can make bone meal. Yes, he dropped two. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that... <laughs> I never knew that could happen. The arrow dropped from the block when I hit it and t took health off of me. Right, I'll keep that covered for the moment. Put the gunpowder in the chest. Um. Keep the bone meal safe. Yeah, we need to get the farm grown quite quickly because I've lost a lot of my health so far. I'll make a sword and attempt to go back down there. I could make an iron one just to be on the safe side. Don't know why I done it. Right, because if that was a dungeon, then that's one challenge done already. Right, better eat this mushroom stew, put the bowl back, and the iron, the hole, I don't need that. Sticks, I don't need. I need the torches to deactivate it. I need to be really extremely careful here. Yeah, we need to split this into two episodes. No, I don't think that is a dungeon, sadly. Nope. I really thought I saw one. Yeah, this is quite big. Which is good and bad, I suppose. But yeah, we need to end this episode here. Kind of slightly on a cliffhanger, I know, but um, <laughs> yeah, we need to end it there. Ooh, I hear a zombie, so I'll run back and then end off this episode here. I might need to cut out a minute or so of footage. But yeah, two seconds. Right, there we go. Uh, thanks for watching.